I'm Emma Yang, I'm 14 years old. I code and make apps to empower people with Alzheimer's, and this is why you should listen to me. You're working on something that humanity wants, which is the ability to hold on to memories with our loved ones. Yeah, I mean, Timeless is all about you know, empowering patients, empowering family members to you know, stay connected with their loved ones, even through as you know, the, the disease progresses, to be able to you know, stay connected, to retain those memories and sustain those relationships. How important it, was it for you to help people with Alzheimer's? With my personal experience with my grandmother, knowing you know what this disease can do to you know a person, to their families, you know I really wanted to create something that could help people go through that. And so you know creating this app is really about you know reaching out to those people and families who you know like me have someone who knows someone with Alzheimer's and to really help them you know sustain those relationships. I could create apps, products that can benefit people around the world and make an impact. As a family member of an Alzheimer's patient it's hard to feel in control of the situation. Coding is a place that I have complete control over what's going on. So I developed Timeless. It uses artificial intelligence-based facial recognition technology to help Alzheimer's patients recognize the people around them. I mean, Emma, you really are the brain power of your app. You're globally recognized for your efforts in the technovation industry. You connect people like with Bill Gates and Al Gore. I want your opinion on what kind of apps that the market still has room for. I think that you know the elderly population is something that we really haven't tapped into. Mm. You know, there are so many people who um, you know, talk about, you know, we want to have social media and we have, don't want to be able to share pictures and stuff. How about the people that have so many memories that we want to retain, you know, the people that we want to connect to? You're an advocate for STEM. You're stimulated by AI and robotics. Women remain highly underrepresented in engineering. How important is it for girls and women in your field to change this? I think it's really important because you know most of the world are women, and yet you know the people who are leading the tech sector and most of the industries in the world are men. And I think that you know that's a really weird imbalance that we should have that we have right now. It's really important that we get as many women into the tech sector as possible because we want to be represented by the people that you know believe in us and you know have the ideas that align with our own the most. And what would you say for the young girls out there who wants to pick up engineering? Perseverance is really important. You know, not, never let anyone tell you that you shouldn't be in the field that you want to be in the most and to pursue your passion. There isn't a lot of exposure in the media to women in STEM, to women in technology and robotics. And I think that that's really important to get out there because there are w girls and women out there who are working in STEM. There are girls and women out there who want to pursue STEM. And making that connection you know, in the media, on social media, on the internet is really important. What or who gives you the motivation and inspiration to do what you do every day? I think the people out there that you know have leave comments on articles, leave comments on the Facebook page, share you know my story, share you know the talks that I do because those people really show me how many people out there really care and support the projects and my endeavors. Because I think that you know sometimes when you do these kind of things with a project at home, you know I'm on the computer, I'm coding. It's really difficult to see you know the world out there that really believes in the project and thinks that this is an idea that should be executed. How was the process of getting timeless like taken off the ground? Because I saw you like talking to neuron creative directors but you are right on the front line one of the biggest challenges was you know getting funding because you know a lot of the time I reach out to people when I'm 12 13 14 years old and I go and say you know people don't take you seriously yeah a lot of people are saying you know you're 12 like what are you gonna do with this it's like your own fun project but I think that you know this, the team that I've built from now are the people who really believe in me and support me and think that this, should, this is gonna go far what else would Emma Yang accomplish in the years to come I think you know one of my dreams is to really you know start a big company. Um, I think that I really admire people who are out there in the tech sector who are being leaders, especially women and girls who are you know being a ro being role models. And I think that I really want to someday you know get to that point. Your passion to develop technology to serve with a sense of purpose is truly inspiring. Thank you so much. Emma. Thank you so much.